beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed The church in Nigeria is a wonderful place. You know that I love the church. I love the body of Christ. But I think that we have to trust God in this time and in this season to our idea of kingdom advance is in many ways faulty. And we must trust God together as a united body to correct ourselves because there is this obsession for expansion and there's nothing wrong with that but it looks to me like our concept of kingdom advance is establishing our presence is in as many territories as possible whilst there is a dimension of that we are largely missing it because the idea is not just to establish our presence as the man of God or the denomination our idea is to make sure that in every territory there are men who represent portals for kingdom advance that there be no territory that is barren of a true apostolic and prophetic community that represents the individuals who can host God to his expectation within a territory if we fail to do that we have missed a lot if you're understanding me say amen One of my greatest fear in life is finding out that I did not live my life and I did not do ministry to God's expectation. It is a very tragic state because the Bible says that our works will be tried with fire. Are we together now? Yes. Tonight, tonight is, is, is more it's more like a minister's conference it's a challenge to believers and everybody but the challenge is is for those who have been trusted with some measure of spiritual influence over people groups territories we must trust god for understanding on how kingdom advance happens there is too much guessing in the body of christ and everybody believes he is right but our results are showing that there is inefficiency there is inefficiency somewhere there are activities going on there are programs going on conferences going on and nothing is wrong with those things in themselves except that the heart of god's intent is seldom being communicated and that calls for a very serious review of our approach to kingdom advance it is god's desire john chapter um, 15 now and verse 8 that we bear fruit and that our fruit abides meaning your fruit can be lost are we together 
we have lost several foundational precepts as simple as how to know who is saved and who is not is a serious problem for believers that's a sign that something is wrong with the church that we have lost that ability to be able to see the clarity on who is lost and who is saved the average believer does not know what to do with a new convert is that true the moment you bring a new convert to a believer and say please um, I'm trusting you with the destiny of this brother or this sister you will be shocked to find out that that person may even be a pastor in church that that person may even be a deacon that person may be a worker a leader haven't been around the things of God for many years sitting down under spiritual leaders but not knowing what to do say well I don't know what to do with this person what is step B after giving your life to Christ how do ordinary believers become spiritual men do we know well enough to be committed to someone that you can give someone who just got born again and they trust him and say look in three weeks we should be able to see certain things happen in this life listen let me tell you the truth if we do not re-examine this I truly believe that a few years from now the lapse of our being out of touch with these spiritual realities will become clear with all humility and with all love for the body of Christ look at the caliber of we pastors and men of God that are handling the pulpit we are largely ignorant people ignorant of the precepts of God ignorance of the methodology of God we just went through a denominations foundation school or a denomination school of ministry or a denominations requirement for ordination and all of a sudden oil is poured upon you and you are granted access to the souls of hundreds thousands and millions of people who submit their minds and their spirits to the mentorship of a confused person who only had the privilege to hold a mic and we keep teaching them and they swallow everything we teach hook line and sinker the life of the church today is a testament of our inefficiency as men of God the average believer does not have an understanding of kingdom advance at all we don't know we don't care we are not even interested what do you do do you know that's why look at the body of Christ the gap between extremely anointed people and those who are squallowing around the ground is too wide what happened are you getting what I'm saying in a whole territory you may find just two or three people at the upper levels spiritually and then that's all right but the next set of people will be so far apart I have seen churches where in a whole church only maybe two or three of the spiritual leaders are truly anointed or on fire out of a church of maybe 30 pastors 27 of them when they come and hold the mic then you see on the board pastor this apostle this and you say my god who called this guy to ministry what is he saying opinions philosophies cunningly devised fables are we together now and look at the quality of men and women who are being produced it's a disaster that requires a quick rescue many believers do not know God many believers do not know the Holy Spirit many believers do not know the voice of the Holy Spirit many believers do not know scripture many believers do not even understand the system of God many believers go to church I agree many believers take communion I agree many believers join in general church prayer I agree but very few believers have risen in spiritual orientation I'm not talking of men of God I'm talking of people who are healthy because of an atmosphere that is healthy the, the kind of threat that the gate of hell is supposed to receive from the church has reduced grossly 
grossly we see the ease with which darkness looms around territories as though there are no believers there but the bible says you are the light of the world it didn't say you are the noisemakers it didn't say you are the discussers you are the light you bring illumination you are a city that is set on a hill I think it's Philippians chapter 2 when you read from verse 13 to 16 it starts by saying do everything without complaining nor arguing I'm sure I'm right and then it says that he will be blameless um, okay for God it that he may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation what is your mandate among whom ye shine as lights in the world next verse it says holding forth 16 holding forth the word of life holding forth the word of life not cunningly devised fables not the discussions of men are we together we have lost too many things in the body of christ we have lost power we have lost a voice no, we, we have to, we have been downgraded to a realm of Scientology and carnality. There must be a drastic upgrade. Otherwise, something will be wrong. We will not know the difference between spiritism and Christianity or Scientology and logic or some kinds of philosophical things. Are we blessed? Preserve us. Of the ordinances of God in a territory mandated to make sure every generation tastes the reality of the life of God for in your presence there is life everlasting I will reverence you I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. When John was caught up in the Isle of Patmos, John began to explain to us what he saw. And among many other things, John said he had a voice. And when he turned to see that voice, he saw seven lampstands. Listen carefully. And then John said, in the midst of the lampstand, there was one like the son of man and he began to describe various attributes of him and then it was God himself who began to give John that interpretation he says that those lampstands represent the church the ecclesia God's body the lampstands that Christ is found in the midst of them that light that is also a city set on a hill that should never never be confused he says it is the church brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth Christianity is not in danger listen carefully church is not in danger but the ordinances of the spirit that make men mighty is in danger are you hearing what I'm saying the ordinances the secrets of God that is a portion to transform men from ordinary people to make men of power and relevance is in danger we scarcely understand the secrets of god the pathway that any believer can follow and become a man of grace a man of power and relevance i want to share with you very briefly because I want us to pray six ways that the precepts of God 
can and should be preserved in a territory. And I'm seeing fire like a volcano. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Volcano in the spirit. Shabaka to She goes kind of like a volcano. Please, can another drummer sit down? Please let this gentleman come for somebody. This man is success. Shabaka to Still seeing this fire inside outside i'm seeing it it's like a volcano when when you see god doing these kinds of things it's, it's not show it's not show he's bringing witness he's bringing witness to the spirit of man because the word of god must have an agency for performances he's working on people i'm seeing like a volcano rising and exploding then the fire is dropping on people this is what i see in the spirit this is what I see in the spirit. Shabarakata sikata. Shabregade balakota varianda kosi brada. It's making us witnesses. Testaments. Listen, let me tell the truth. There are precepts of the spirit that cannot be lost. We must trust God. We must become true spiritual custodians of these things. Otherwise, a generation is in danger. The death of a man of God should not end the move of God. There are many men of God, we talk about them. They left with the secrets because there were no men to receive. They left with the secrets. Elisha died. Till today, there are dimensions that would have been seen. Gehazi was not positioned to receive. God, God sees my heart. How that I desire that we become spiritual. 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 Not just supernatural. Spiritual. You must, you must understand the realm of the spirit. And sustain capacity to interact with that realm. Otherwise you will not do much. I promise you. That you must, you must learn how to walk with God such that you become an envoy of his presence it's not just a call it's not just a unique call to a man it's not just a unique call to a man it is the product of consistently following a pathway there is a pathway that produces that effect it's not an exclusive preserve of particular men there is a path you can follow that leaves the trace of god's presence it's like a perfume so every time you find expression, there is no man born of a woman that comes under the influence of that presence that will not be affected. That's the realm where doubt dies. That's the realm where all kinds of suspicion go away. You, you are not trying to show your anointed. Your presence always introduces a reality. You are showing men that you are standing in an interface between two realms. And for as long as you are there, you open them up to experiences that their current faith level cannot afford them. This is not just talk, talk, talk. All this empty talk, we keep mocking ourselves. The Bible says, for I did not come to you with the excellency of speech. It is not just about oratory. No. This is not grammar. This is the reality. The Bible, Paul calls it the mystery of godliness. That God can be embodied, domiciled in an individual who was born of flesh and blood. But produce an effect that is strangely supernatural. No man is born with the anointing. No man is born with the anointing. No man is born with spiritual power. Men follow pathways. It's an ancient path that has been lost there's too much talk too much grammar too much preaching 
too much listening to every man of God's message and picking out what will make you stand out on stage. It, let me tell you the truth. If we do not trust God to touch reality, we will keep wasting our time educating ourselves. Do you know what, what the average young preacher does? Hold on. What the average young man, not just young, young believer who loves God does is he finds the tapes of five, six, seven, eight men of God around the world and just puts them together and listens to them and there's nothing wrong with that. But the purpose of listening to it is to try to synergize enough revelation to give him capacity to speak well so that he will not be ashamed. That's a joke. If that's what you think brings power and opens the heavens over a man, it's, it's, a, it's a big joke. A big joke. The realm of the spirit is not an educational classroom it's a place where men are made genuinely there there are there are there are capacities apportioned for people on grounds of working with the holy spirit only the holy spirit gives that ranking nobody you can pretend you have it many people pretend they have it but when the door settles down you hear the testimonies Kai, we have lost something serious we must trust God to be trusted with grace to preserve the ordinances of God otherwise some of the young believers coming up the only thing we can give them as a heritage is born again and then they get born again and they don't know what to do and it is this same confused us that have been ordained week in week out Everybody is a general overseer. Everybody is a president. Everybody is an apostle. Everybody is a prophet. Everybody is a pastor. Hilarious ordinations happening left, right, and center. And everybody is just holding the mic, and we are as confused as those who are trying to teach. I say this out of love for the body, but we must return. We are losing something. We are losing something very powerful. We are losing something. The ordinances. The precepts of the spirit there is a spiritual formula that men are subject to we are losing it in the name of ministry in the name of globalization in the name of making sure we expand no sir the average believer does not even know whether his prayer is answered or not the average believer does the only thing we have done is that every time we pray in tongues for a long time and dissipate spiritual energy there is a consolation based on that energy so it is based on that pain we go through that we believe it is answered what, what sort of an, an education is that the average believer studies the bible to ease himself or herself from the guilt the personal guilt that comes from messages every sunday that you must be spiritual it is not a personal appetite it's not a search if if that guilt were taken away from us we would throw the bible in a heartbeat that's why we love using any other thing job or whatever it's only because we are free and everybody knows we are free so we can't say we are not serious so when there is a legitimate crown then we excuse it how the precepts of God are preserved in a territory our sensitivity largely very dull largely very dull any and everything happens around us and there is no acumen no perception we see and hear things we do not have strength and capacity to interpret so we become victims of anything and anybody who presses a little more than usual we we accept it that that person is being called into the ministry Number one, the first way, listen carefully, that the purposes of God are both established and preserved in a territory. Like our territory, Zaria here for instance, is prayer. Write it down, prayer. The first way the purposes of God are established upon a territory and also preserved is prayer. 
warfare and intercession write it down a lost act in the body of Christ genuine warfare and intercession let me tell you something if we ever have a generation that laughs at warfare and intercession that's the generation that will not live to hand over to another I promise you I promise you our our spiritual ignorance is tilting us gradually to downplay the role of spiritual warfare and intercession over setting the atmospheres and the climates of territories to allow that territory host God brothers and sisters it takes prayer it takes genuine warfare and intercession for the heavens to be open over a territory enough for the purposes of God to be established warfare Ezekiel chapter 22 it's a long reading 23 to 31 but the verse of emphasis is verse 30 Ezekiel 22 please help us media Ezekiel chapter 22 And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, long reading, quickly please. Just go to verse 30. Because at the, at the way we are going, we are going to waste too much time. And I sought for a man among them. Now this was God angry with a territory. That's why what I wanted us to read, but because of time we'll just look at 30. God was angry with a territory and was about to pour his indignation and his judgment. And God said, that mercy dimension of me was still there. But I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land. For what? For the land, not for the church. I'm talking about taking over territories, preserving the precepts of God over a territory. A man that will stand for the land so there are men that can stand for the land not just their churches that because of their presence and the business they do with God certain things can happen to territories they don't even know why it came and how it came but a man stood for a land that I should not destroy it but I found did he say I did not find human beings they were human beings many but I found none. That man built in capacity and understanding. The ministry of prayer. Let me tell you this. Believe me. Hear me, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, everywhere, here in any nation. But more specifically in Zaria. If we stop praying in Zaria because of some kind of spiritual laziness, you will be shocked. The way darkness will prevail over the city are we together the ministry of prayer is one of the foundational tenets that must be preserved in every generation i don't care whether the believer is going to be a man of god or a civil servant or a politician the ministry of prayer must be indoctrinated in every believer he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint not just need driven prayers alone but we must graduate from realms of just praying give me tea give me bread to taking over lands that because of your presence in the territory you subdue the controlling powers the powers that mold the mindsets of people the powers that are responsible for prevalent tragedies over a nation that you come into a city and find accidents anyhow all kinds of things anyhow and you realize that you have been made a king and a priest over that territory and part of the ministry of your priesthood is advocacy that you go before God and you stand face to face with the controlling powers that's what men did in the Bible Abraham stood in for Sodom and Gomorrah are we together preserve the family of Lot the wife chose the way she wanted Joseph stood in, preserved certain things. Daniel stood in, preserve. Are you not men who preserve the purposes of God? Your generation, the ministry 
of warfare and prayer the ministry of warfare Ephesians chapter 6 when we read from verse 10 to 19 the Bible tells us listen carefully the Bible tells us that um, we should be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might then it says we should put the full armor of God are we together then it says how that we we do not war against principalities and powers but against um, rulers and flesh and blood but principalities and powers and all of that it begins to tell us that in every territory these demonic structures exist hold on let me preach to educated people you know sometimes because we have gone to school because we are rich small money small job we um, and sometimes innocently and truthfully I hear preachers downplay the presence of controlling powers over cities simply because at the present they are doing well let me tell you something Satan is many things a fool is not one of them I hear what I'm saying Satan is defeated Satan is old Satan is several things but a fool is not one of them he has the advantage of age time he has studied mankind different species of people have lived upon this earth he has had an advantage of one-to-one -one experience satan has existed before several dispensations before adam's dispensation that brought us into the sea every territory has controlling powers every territory has controlling powers if you see the purposes of God prevailing in that territory, brothers and sisters, it's not because the controlling powers are not there. An agency in the spirit, a system has been lifted in the heaven that has clamped down the activities of darkness enough to allow the purposes of God find expression. That's why I said if we stop praying, or if we concentrate on childish immature prayer lord give me tea tomorrow again oh god i forgot to ask for bread yesterday there is a place where you ask for your needs but notice how jesus taught us to pray our father who art in heaven we reverence you after reverencing him the next thing is your agenda your kingdom come your kingdom come your kingdom come upon a land upon a territory listen the concept of prayer chains, the concept of prayer groups, the concept of prayer cells in territories must never end. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Yes. Now, the, the, the challenge with many people is that the moment people start praying, carnality comes in and they are looking who is the leader among these three people. What is the name of this ministry of four of us? I don't know who taught us that prayer groups, prayer cells, prayer chains, there should be some structure of leadership. But, you know, we have this mentality and, and especially some of us who are coming up are mentoring this wrong thing from some of us men of God. The moment people start praying, everybody is obsessed about who is the leader, who has the protocol to follow him. If, if we do like that, then the devil is going to destroy us. In every city and territory in Zaria there should be prayer portals that's how the kingdom works I'm a good student of revivals that's how it should work in Samaru there should be units of men and women praying high in Dogo there should be people there has to be representations of the kingdom sending an incense of prayer on a daily basis that's why I thank God for all the groups scattered around. And notice that's what Satan hates. The moment there are people praying, some kinds of agitation must arise from anywhere. Preserve us of the ordinances of God. Gone are the days where churches start as prayer groups. Now churches start as intentional, organized platforms for the enjoyment of the man of God. Are we together? That before a man of God starts ministry, he has sewn his clothes for one year. Are we together? The offering basket has been made. Tight envelope is, in, is, is intact. What do you see? 
we, we better be careful this joke that we keep joking with ourselves every correct ministry starts as a it doesn't it? let me tell you most men of God that are being used mightily by God today ask them their intention was never ministry they were men who made themselves available when God called them they went back and cried and said God can you use somebody else God will say you are the person you can choose to say no but I'm not using any other person you are the one I will use but now you see the appetite with which we rush into this thing and the devil doesn't he, he doesn't stop us because there's whether we are in it or outside it, it makes no difference to him we are still equally ignorant prayer that's how this ministry started prayer every day fire on the altar and I'm not talking of the kind of prayer that is for one hour and you talk for 60 minutes and you say let's let's thank God that's Bible study prayer should be an intense time of engaging in the spirit only to be interrupted shortly to establish a few things strengthen the understandings of the people the fire continues this is the kind of prayer that can host heaven in eternity let me be honest with you many territories have a lot of repentance to do many families have a lot of repentance to do the prayer lives of many people are under attack when the devil finds out that there's no hope of you backsliding in prayer he tells your prayer to become a selfish one so you are praying for hours but you are making minimal minimal spiritual progress i insist prayer chains prayer groups there are many of you here that the body is in your hand is not carnality and it is not ministry either when you let me teach you something every time you get to a new land before you get accommodation find somewhere where you can pray scan around the back of one tree shout and hear whether it disturbs anybody if that's good, dedicate it as an altar to start with don't go around and say where can i get a hotel and all this rubbish no find a place to pray somebody will join you another person will join you the devil is in trouble once there are up to two people or three that can agree to be praying apostle but what is the name of the ministry it's not it doesn't have a name the ministry is traveling in the spirit until the purposes of god are portioned for that territory so it doesn't matter where you are the assignment is the same if you leave zaria for a three-week break and you are in kogi for that three week every demon and devil in Kogi state to feel the fire when you return it doesn't matter someone else is returning there so there's fire everywhere say everywhere but now you find out that some places are as cold as ice whereas some other places are on fire do you know whenever you travel for a ministry to a, to a ministry the purpose is not just to go there to watch a superstar the purpose is to carry like a coal you go and fetch some of it are we together that's why when i see people come from other places i like laying my hands on them it's not just for showmanship so you carry something the goal is to take it back to your territory the same way we do in the physical when they want to teach an organization certain things and they can't sponsor all of them what do they do they pick one man is that true or a few people send them abroad for the training when they return back they teach the people not shine with it not shine with it this is where we are missing it train the people one of the biggest killers in ministry is title and that sense of control over men if we don't repent out of it you know i look at people and there is such an obsession to be the leader okay this group is the name is is, is, is um, salvation power intercessory group and i'm the one i'm the, the, the i'm the chief uh, uh, coordinator of it that means i'm the one who prays more and all these ones are my children you start praying in two months everybody that comes here is your child including people like our mother here that came to all, all this this poor self-esteem that we have transferred into our prayer lives and ministry this title and an obsession for platforms is what is killing the move of God in many territories. Do you know there are people as students 
years ago there are people who had different prayer groups when when all of them were finishing they just left they've gone on other places doing great things but most of us you pray for two days and then the next thing you carry a piece of paper who is really the secretary among these five people we need to define it because the other day i didn't tell anybody to leave prayer and this other lady suddenly when did she join this thing before and you see we, we start politicizing it are you not from Adam? Me too, I'm from Adam. That one came, I don't say, from Lagos. He said, we don't want to bring all these kind of things. And we kill the move of God with very frivolous, childish things. Another thing that kills prayer is love. No, not love, relationship. Hello? I keep saying it. There are people till today, they have no business loving anybody. Please hear what I'm saying. All this thing of coming to the house of God for one month and you're already eyeing every sister, every brother, you are in love. No, sir. This is not how we train people. We train people to look for God first. Press into God. Have a testament, a, a track record. Then you can love. But now everybody is, is just, you, you come in two days, you are praying. People are closing their eyes praying and what you are doing is you are looking out for, for who it is to marry. I'm not saying God cannot use those platforms. In fact, God should use them. Are we together? However, your heart, if the reason why you are in several prayer groups is to find a wife or find a husband, you need to re-engineer and renew your mind and repent and ask for forgiveness and concentrate on the major reason why you are there first. Most people who become mightily used by God never go there to marry. They go there to seek God. They pray with all their heart and serve. And one day while they are praying, God will tell them, you see this, this, this lady. It's even God that will tell them, my son, look, you have been serving me sincerely. This, this one that you are serving, you need a helper. I said, God, I can continue. God, it's me that I say you need a helper. But now, we are the ones bombarding the gate of heaven. A prayer request full of, oh God, one time marry and God, what have you done for me? You have not done anything. Nobody has been saved as a result. It's a scam to come to the house of God. You are not contributing anything. And the next thing you want to take, and, and usually it's God's best we want to take. Oh, come on, please. Are we blessed? Let me be honest with you, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's return to the place of seeking God sincerely and passionately. Or coming to the house of God and everybody is checking. What did this one, this prayer group, ah, I like these suits that this one is wearing. I, no, no. Father, your kingdom come in this territory. There is darkness. Lord, we just noticed that 11 people died in nine months. That means there is a spirit passing through that territory, unhindered. And all of a sudden, one faithful day, that spirit will hear a sound from the earth. Shaka. As it's moving to high in Dogo, someone is taking it from there. Let me tell you how you drive spirits. You make the heavens unconducive. Don't laugh at what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you how this thing works. Because they will always leave where there is fire and settle down. And wait for a backsliding territory. And then return back. This is how many of those we admire today. That's how they were raised. They were never, a Jimmy is here asking, those of you who were there when Koinonia, when he and I started, when you got born again, in two weeks, it will be as if you have spent one year in Christ. Because there was fire everywhere. There still is. But because we're a lot more organized now, it, it's very difficult. When people got, there were people who would get born again, filled with the Holy Spirit from day two, they start prophesying. And even with the prophesying, they are not going anywhere. Because there are still demons to get out of there. As they finish prophesying, they go and humble themselves and sit down and learn. But now someone gets born again. After one month, because of the gift of the Spirit, he prophesies, she prophesies the next thing. They start speaking to people. They speak mistakes into the lives of people. Because they are seen correctly, but the dynamics of interpreting spiritual things is not there. And before you will now learn and grow, you have misled several people. Gift is not maturity. You need to stay with God. No matter how you rush, you must stay. That fire, that fire is the maker of men. Anybody that dodges fire, don't trust him. 
don't trust him you must be refined as of gold our desires and appetites must be taught genuinely to seek God say amen prayer I'm encouraging you I'm encouraging the church in Zaria I'm encouraging the church everywhere there must be prayer units most ministries do it but many ministries what what they do is not really prayer unit it's just maybe home sales which is wonderful I, I, I don't have a problem with it do you know why we not do it as koinonia because you are an extension of the ministry the goal is not Joshua Selman in every home the goal is the kingdom the power the glory of God your house can become an altar your small area can become an altar two of you three of you can begin to pray it doesn't matter that God started with you it doesn't need to have a name the name is prayer seven to nine five to six in the morning nine to ten every day or two days in a week or three days in a week you do this and see what begins to happen let me tell you what begins to happen the moment you pray there will first be silence one month two months you will start seeing physical agitations the demons that are resident in men will start reacting something is happening in the realm of the spirit your own loved ones will start fighting you for reasons you cannot explain and say look um you are becoming proud and you say no no sir i'm not because you are becoming proud the moment they say that remember spiritual intelligence you know it's not the individual you you respect the body but go back in the spirit and say satan i'm still there i know it's you jesus looked at peter and said satan get thee behind you and you go and continue and then one day let me tell you how god will announce that he has come to that territory a spectacular move of god will happen one day you will see people in a family and they are just sitting down watching football and the power of God breaks out in that house. Breaks out in a house where they hate the Holy Spirit. Guess who the first to be filled with the Holy Ghost will be? The Father himself. Shatata bakata. And you are wondering, my father? My father? Yes, your father. This controversial person who is so scientific. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's the one God. Your prayer the Holy Spirit has been eyeing him and on that day we have missed it there are many territories that are cold so the only way people can get some fire is when they rush and converge in particular places the place of convergence is important but the place of convergence should not be a remedy for lack of fire where you are it should be a place to come and receive a greater fanning can you make a commitment in one minute that you will become an extension of the fire of God in your territory? Pray. Pray in one minute. Cast away lukewarmness. Some of us, our lives are under attack. We are seeing it, but we do not care. The grace for prayer zero. Every and anybody is distracting your prayer life. I'm busy, I'm busy. A deception by the pit of hell. Lord, in the staff quarters, find a space through me. Lord, in prison, we represent an extension of that altar of prayer. Hallelujah. Listen, let your prayer be focused on impact, not titles. Impact not titles if you are here roaming around looking for people to start going to your small church lock it down and go and start praying alone yes sir yes sir don't invite anybody let them come and meet you praying and you are praying and god is watching you 
my beloved son no carpet no canopy no mic no suit no nothing but a genuine desire to seek him and god is saying i i am watching listen all this all this running around am i a prophet or am i apostle is nonsense it is the place of prayer and work. there is nobody that starts ministry and starts working with god knowing who he is even if god tells you it will not look like that are you hearing what i'm saying all this i am apostle this just wait and see it will happen you are joking nothing will happen it is in the place of prayer as that fire refines you it starts drawing you to become something and everybody starts saying this is the training of a prophet even you you may mistake yourself for an evangelist because the only thing you did was crusade but then it's eventually as he's building you you know that no this training is not an evangelist training <laughs> why is this unusual <laughs> There are people who think they are called in there are some of you here seated you are born prophets with the office of a prophet but you have not seen one vision because it's not about the vision keep praying just continue just continue you will argue with anybody and say no sir i'm not a prophet me i i know i'm a pastor because i'm a good teacher you will find out that teaching is not even part of it just keep praying the refiner's fire comes through that prayer when your heart is being purged are we together now flesh is being taken away one day you will begin to pray and all of a sudden you will find out that you will prophesy like Saul from morning till night and step into a strange dimension many people who are calling themselves many offices take it from me they are wrong they don't know it is only the place of the dealing of the spirit that makes you you say you are a pastor who told you just because someone prophesied he saw in part and he said so he may be right but he may not be it no don't say just because you saw a ring you saw a hand you say i'm a prophet i'm a prophetess i'm an apostle no sir don't flatter yourself let the place of prayer incubate you when you come out fully the name that you are will be shown not just by titles results 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 will show who you are if you're a prophet don't tell us let the results show it show us the eye of the spirit you received in the place of prayer show us the acumen the ability to perceive realities that's what makes a prophet show us the ability to bring things down from the realm of the spirit don't come and talk jargons and waste our time show us the performance that comes based on the word of god show us the throne in heaven that backs that office don't say i'm an apostle show us the throne that backs you show us the keys of the territory that was given to you we go around bragging calling ourselves names flattering ourselves and deceiving people and being deceived ourselves Pray in one minute, Lord, a restoration of the grace for warfare and intercession. Praying over a land. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Restore me back, oh God, to the ordinances of the fathers. Restore me back. Restore me back. Restore me back. Restore me back the ordinances that help men to walk with God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I once saw a man of God that I knew years ago. When I shook that man, as soon as I shook him, tears filled my eyes. I was almost asking him, where did your fire go to? What happened to you? What made you cold like this? Who deceived you? What did you start listening to? 
Where did you go? Which association did you join? Restore my fire. Lift your voice and pray. Cry it from your spirit. Restore my fire. Shagata gata. Leketo satos kabriata. Restore my fire. Restore it, oh God. The destiny of a territory is at stake. The destiny of a territory is at stake. This is not the issue of being a man of God. This is not the issue of being in ministry. Preserve us of the ordinances of the Spirit. Daily prayers, daily prayers, daily prayers, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, without fail. Fashion is, is eating us up. I believe in fashion look good, but it's complete nonsense if you don't pray. Can we pray in the spirit just for one minute? Just, just to allow the Holy Spirit to bring this. There are gentlemen that don't pray. 
we are over conscious of ourselves no sir Teach your children to pray. Teach your children to pray. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Preserve prayer in every territory. Preserve it in your house. Preserve it in your life. Preserve it everywhere. Don't let it go. No matter who laughs at you, no matter how Western, those of you listening from other nations of the world, restore prayers back to your homes. Restore prayer back to your churches. Whether you are in America, whether you are in London, it doesn't matter where. Restore prayer back. Prayer has equal value everywhere. Whether you are rich or poor, your personal comfort has nothing to do with your prayer life. Number two. How are the ordinances of God advanced and preserved? A regular convergence of believers within that territory the second way that the ordinances of God are not only transferred but preserved is that there must be a regular convergence of believers within that territory to be trained equipped empowered there is no territory that can preserve a spiritual heritage when there is no platform for a regular convergence of believers be it a regular church service be it a midweek service be it different interdenominational programs it doesn't matter there has to be a regular convergence there must be a platform where the believers within that territory keep in touch they are trained they are equipped they are empowered then they also receive the blueprint of God's current emphasis. It's one of the highest advantage of coming together. When believers come together, the whole territory can hear what God is doing now. Don't assume that because God moved in a particular way yesterday, that's what he's still doing today. When a territory dissociates itself from Psalms 133 a convergence for the purpose of being equipped it is for this reason that God anointed some he gave unto some apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers for the equipping of those people within that territory so what, what happens here every week is the will of God a convergence of men and women are you seeing why when people begin to say it's not the issue of crowd that there, there is a joke are the people chairs the more the people within a territory that can converge to hear the precepts of God provided the dispensers of that truth are in touch with God is an advantage in the multitude of people is a king's honor the king there is not the man of God the king there is the king of kings in the multitude of people within a territory don't have a territory of five million people and the largest church in that territory is 300 people and you say it doesn't matter what else matters why didn't Jesus die for 12 people and say 12 people receive my salvation then any other person who is interested no he died for the whole world don't get into that mistake of resenting crowds just because there are people or there may be ministries that have crowds and maybe the men of God and the women of God may not be well positioned 
to supply them the kind of spiritual feeding does not mean that God is against crowd. When you reject it, it looks like you are being spiritual. But that's been carnal. Anybody that knows God must love people. Acts chapter 2 from verse 42 to 47 they continued Acts 2 and they continued look at me who are the day the community of believers within that territory they continued steadfastly consistently unbendingly in the rain in the sunshine convenient or not convenient the sad reality is that most people in the body of Christ have been indoctrinated that only when things become convenient for you there are people who come to church and now I believe in excellence but just a little hit somewhere they said I'm too I mean I'm I'm, I'm too I'm too uh, 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 steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship in breaking of bread and in prayers we are reading down to 47 and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together and had all things in common and they sold their possession and their goods and parted them etc etc 46 and they continuing daily not even weekly the church of old they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart verse 47 praising God and having favor with all the people and what did God do who is the person who brings the crowd a man of God please get away from all that mistake of thinking men of God are using oratory you can invite animals by gimmicks not men men are not stupid a crowd of people cannot be a crowd of idiots there are people who are sensible and went to school when you see crowds god brought them don't get into that thing of saying people are just gathering just for entertainment no sir no sir there may be one of two exceptions but you don't generalize there are places god is doing mighty things this place is one of them the bible says and the lord added to the church how many daily such as should be saved so the multitudes of people that come are people sent by God to find salvation there must be a regular convergence when Satan wants to frustrate the purposes of God in a territory he starts bringing people and policies that try to frustrate the gathering of the brethren are you seeing that now that's why things like a crisis is very bad because among other things it puts fear in people and causes men to not be able to come together and to learn thank God for platforms technology has afforded greater opportunities today most ministries and most groups and platforms have social media presence for all those who are part of what God is doing in that ministry to connect and follow. There are all kinds of opportunities for growth. Number three. How is the kingdom advanced in a territory? How are the ordinances of God preserved in a territory? Ready? An open display of real miracles, signs and wonders beyond the church walls let me tell you how god is institutionalized in a territory an open display not a private quiet secret doubtful manifestation of his power an open display of real genuine miracles signs wonders that are beyond the church wall out of all the miracles jesus performed please write it and look up out of all the miracles jesus performed less than one percent of them was done in the church is that true he was strolling one day and then he saw a dead body 
they were going out a woman was crying had lost her son had lost her husband and he said what's going on here and he said this woman is about to leave he stopped them there and then and brought the son back to life do you know that when a miracle happens and it is not known it doesn't bring God glory the glory God receives is in the announcing of what he has done I know most times people think it's an announcing of a powerful man of God our mother came here and shared testimony our brother here came and shared testimony of someone who has come back to life do you know what that does to you it strengthens your faith and then when the miracle happens in your presence it is beyond doubt that's why listen listen if you're a man of God here you must trust God for grace for instant performance of the world instant performance it is wonderful to go and come back two weeks with results but there is nothing more convincing than the optical eyes of a doubter watching God in action you saw it before during and after when Jesus finished declaring his his um, call in Luke chapter 4 he told the guy with a withered hand he said for starters to prove to you the hand of God is upon me Mr. Man stretch your hand when he stretched his hand that was beyond doubt the highest that can happen to you is you'll be criticized and hated but I assure you God will be glorified an open display why do we need an open display of miracles within territories it creates convictions not just in the heart of church members in the heart of the community many communities do not believe in God because they have not seen him coming in an open display the day God anoints you and you stand and speak over a territory and say God revealed to me that in in five months they are going to tar this road and people laugh at you and say stupid pastor if you want cheap publicity go on air and all of a sudden a rich man comes within that territory and tars that road in five months you don't need to tell them God has done it the next time they see you that convicting power the day you now speak and say I saw death in this community they will not laugh at you again they do not take our words serious do you know why bloggers and journalists write everything about men of God because there has not been an open display of the efficacy of the power and the grace of God something that defies principalities and signs and wonders most of this open display is largely done in the south that's why there are hardly our fathers of faith there the, the kind of crowd that comes for their meetings the miracles that happen you will see people sitting on the street selling akara selling pap and watching people rise up from wheelchairs now let me tell you it does not matter how hardened you are if you see a real miracle you must go back and think about it you can choose to argue but the truth still remains the truth what has happened in your family to shut the mouth of those who are doubting those who have laughed at you and said koinonia every time you must trust god for an open display everybody say an open display that one day you step into the parlor and all of a sudden someone that is to go for surgery maybe your loved ones just because you stepped in there while they are busy criticizing a man of God on TV you look and say daddy the Lord just said I should tell you that this cancer is gone and he loves their young boys I was with you I was I remember serving God in boys brigade when I was growing up while they are talking all that drama there is instant miracle and he touches his stomach he will first quietly go to the room and lock the door and say no no what is happening and within a short time the Lord is glorified let me tell you what they'll start calling you uh, where is prophetess pastor evangelist we're about to pray is God saying anything that's a sign that God is working God is working something powerful in this time God is raising mighty men in our days he won't stop he won't stop till his church is 
like him. He won't stop, no, he won't stop till my life looks like him. Acts chapter 19. Please quickly. Acts chapter 19. Brothers and sisters, we need a restoration of the anointing in the body of Christ. This anointing thing is not for showmanship. The anointing is a silencer of doubters. Charles and Francis Hunter of blessed memory would always say that one miracle is worth a thousand words. Our noise is too much. We need a performance of strange and extreme dimensions of the operation of the spirit that stretches people's unbelief until they no longer have a chance to disbelieve God. Acts chapter 19 verse 11. 11. And God wrought what kind of miracles? There are ordinary miracles. They are supernatural in themselves. But they are special miracles by the hands of Joshua Selman. Verse 12. So that from his body this is a very personal scripture for me. So that from his body were brought to the sick handkerchiefs and aprons. Today, we just use it out of showmanship. A man of God just says, hey, what did you say is wrong with you, sir? Darkness is all over our house. So bring this handkerchief. I hold it. We spit on it. We rub it on our face. People carry it back home like a charm. One year after that handkerchief arrived home, nothing happened. It's a sign that there's no power, period. Obed-Edom and the ark of God was taken to his house in 90 days. How many days? 90 solid days. It's true that I know that some miracles can take time. But something should start working after some time. Are we together? If I lay hands on you to be delivered and after two weeks you come back one month nothing has happened that means something is wrong not with you with me i should go back for a retreat and say lord these hands otherwise a day will come the hands will just look like tissue paper as it's coming on your head you believe that nothing is happening keep these hands anointed oh god keep these hands anointed keep these hands anointed that's a good prayer to pray for yourself keep these hands anointed May I never stand upon the stage and waste the time of God's people. May I never lay hands on someone or shake someone and touch someone and his life doesn't change. This is not about showmanship. When your hands are empty, you are not in ministry. Let me tell you, you are just, you are just a, no. Abba. Believe what I'm saying. Keep these hands. Preserve it. Preserve your grace. Preserve the mystery. Of the oil you have put upon his hand. He said God brought mighty miracles. Give it to us again please. By the hands of Paul. What is happening through your hands? Nothing. 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 You don't have to be in church. What is happening through your hands? What happens to my destiny if I shake you? You claim that God lives in you. Brothers and sisters. What has happened to your hands? Nothing. Oh. Oh. Let me agree with you. And we hold people. While we are praying, their eyes are opening. We are the only ones who close our eyes. Because they don't believe in us. They know that that prayer is just nonsense. In Jesus' name. Amen. They say, thank you, sir. And they go back and say, sorry. Can I see this man of God? Because that's the real person they know who solve their problems. I want you to look at your hands and pray over it in one minute. And say, Lord, put something upon this hand. Put an anointing upon this hand that can represent your purposes. It's not a carnal prayer. I want you to sincerely pray. Shake it like a source of Akabia. Put an anointing upon my hand, so God. There are too many sick people in my environment. Look at the brother that shared his testimony. He used his hand to hold the phone. And with a single call, a dead body came back from the realm of the spirit to the physical. Place an anointing on my hand. Place an anointing on my hand. Hallelujah. He said, and the disease departed from them. And the evil spirits went out of them. 13. And certain of the vagabond Jews, copycats, exorcists, they took it upon themselves. 
upon them which had an evil spirit you know the name of the lord saying we adjure you they thought it's just by by big manism or wearing nice clothes and one day they saw someone who was heavily under the influence of demon spirits are we together now we are reading to verse 20 and then 14 says and there were seven sons of one skiva a jew and a chief of the priest which did so 15 and the evil spirit answered them that's the side effect of lack of true power it's not that the devil is trying to confess this is not confession this is a question you are, you, are, you, you stupid man of God you think everybody is faking it he called those who are real known by the realm of the spirit not by members Jesus I know Paul I know who are you hi who are you when a demon spirit asks you who are you is that a nice thing from the realm of the spirit they are watching you every day you have one suit you went for a program they kept water in front of your table they did a, a good publicity and they said now it's time for the man of God a man of strange anointing and you hold the mic and you are talking jargons and someone there is looking at you and all of a sudden the demon spirit with the person heavily possessed just does his hand like that and you collapse on the stage and stand up and say sorry I don't know what happened my mind is ah no there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army progress verse 16 we are reading to 20 and the man in whom the evil spirit was did what leapt on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded the consequence of approaching the power of darkness and the gates of hell when you have not proved that your fire is real there are many arrogant people in the body of Christ. Listen to me. Let me give you a very true secret. The power of God is unlimited, but its operation in the body of believers depends on many factors, which includes their level of spiritual growth. You must have the courage to discern what is your level spiritually. There are many arrogant people. They will do anything. You are seeing some level of acute darkness that does not just require being anointed, but a comprehension of deep spiritual mysteries to set the people free. You just get up by yourself, carry a bottle of oil, and travel to one state that has 200 years of track record of acute witchcraft. I'm, I'm, I'm in Christ. And you go there. As soon as you get there, you start pouring oil around the compound. Nobody talks to you. You just find out that that night as you are sleeping the next day you get up and find yourself in the hospital what happens they say that's how the spirits work they don't talk to people the next thing you just whatever happens to you is their answer listen it's not everything you see that is that is all that there is when you see a man of god moving in the anointing it's only what you can see with your physical eyes you think is happening but there are interplay of spiritual laws a man can lay hands on someone's head and lay hands on his shoulder and you just think that it was just for the anointing to go anywhere when that man if he's spiritual if he explains to you the dynamics of what he has done are we together it's not all about just touching his head and his shoulder or whatever no that's why we must grow but as we grow we must trust god to know certain realities that require a higher level of anointing and insight there are certain levels of spiritual breakthrough that no matter how an individual is anointed 
one man cannot bring that level of breakthrough it will take the corporate body to bring it we do not know and one man will be trying to pull down something that is bigger than him so we must have that that's just a lesson for us to learn let's read down please quickly media don't take it away just leave it there so that we we'll hurry up please help us and this was known to all the community are you seeing now something unpleasant now is known to all the community Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus and fear came upon them and the name of the Lord was magnified they saw the apostles healing the sick and I'm sure that they said what is there what is there miracles anybody can heal the sons of Sceva went to try it when the demons beat them it was an endorsement that this anointing is not common everywhere and the Bible says that the people glorified God and then verse 18 says and many that believed did what as a result they came and confessed and showed their deeds 19 we are reading to 20 many of them which also use curious acts that means there were people who were smuggling magic books and using it it was working small by small but when certain men came into that city they got everyone packing out including magicians do you think if that book did not do something for them wouldn't they have thrown it since they saw something superior and powerful and the bible says they brought their books together and burned them before who a community imagine a popular herbalist in bromo or somewhere maybe zaria city bringing his magic book here and standing before everybody and say i was sent to go and kill one koinonia lady and just because i saw her cat walking i thought it was all about the before when i touched fire i got a reply and a response that i have never seen for 30 years of herbal practice this is what happened there and they counted the price of them and they found it 50,000 pieces of silver 20 popular scripture so mightily grew the word of god why because of a public display of miracles signs and wonders we need the supernatural we need to cry for the anointing we need a restoration of authentic spiritual power to back our churches and to back our lives man of god don't preach without power it's not about saying there's somebody here the power of god will throw you that's not what we are talking about that that's not power we're talking of results results undeniable results like some of you are seated here now you are coming for the first time you will not need to tell people you came for koinonia you will just go back and all of a sudden you find out that something has shifted you open your bible a true encounter is not known at the moment of the encounter is until the experience leaves and then the person just finds out that something has happened strangely let me give us one more there are six but i'll just stop at number four so that we pray number one is prayer number two is a regular convergence of believers within that territory number three an open display of miracle signs and wonders beyond the church walls number four intentional mentorship of younger believers and ministers the fourth way the ordinances of god are preserved in a territory is through an intentional mentorship of younger believers and ministers this is a serious one let me tell you this failure to mentor the younger believers that are rising will produce a generation that will forget god not just forget his ordinances but forget god i'm watching that and i'm throwing this as a challenge to the body of christ and even the church in zaria who are the apostolic and the prophetic voices mentoring our young ones in primary school now everybody has left them and we're focusing on ministry who are the people mentoring those in secondary school thank god for fcs thank god for um, um cem thank god for all of these people but there are some of you here you need to go back 
and begin to make sure that young people like Shade's child here, that by the time they are growing, they are not only receiving education alone. There must be an intentional mentorship of younger people. Most people, is the mistake of the American church, they left their children. So you will see a mother who was an old Baptist woman, served God all her life, but you will find out that her child is a tout and a hooligan somewhere who does not love God. We must concentrate. Right now, most people from the ages of 17 downwards, all they are obsessed about is phones, Android devices, PS4. I don't have a problem with it. But their entire obsession, oh, what OS are you using? You hear that? That's all they think about. Oh, I'm using this PS4. There's this. Ah, they need fire. Oh, they need, they are not too young. They need serious fire. I'm not against that. It's the reality that comes with that age range. But we must be able to guide people. That's why I love it when you see our children come here for koinonia. I know that many of you say, ah, are they too young to understand? Ask occultists whether the children are too young to understand. You see a small child tie something like a napkin and do it like this and you turn upside down and fall down. That's the child of a herbalist. And they tell you, ah, that guy is one of the most senior person in this tribe. That small boy you are saying that is my son. Is your son in the physical. In the realm of the spirit is something else. An ancient spirit is seated on that small child. There is no child that is too small to receive spiritual things. They may be too small to articulate it, but their spirit is healthy enough to receive it. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2. 2 Timothy. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, he said the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others too? A superstar lifestyle is not God's plan. God's plan is not superstar Apostle Joshua Selman. God's plan is Apostle Joshua Selman committed by grace, certain precepts. And your assignment is to open up your heart and pour it to people so that they also will do so. May God forbid that the day will come in Zaria when the average young man does not know God. Say Amen. May God forbid that in Zaria, during a church service, we'll have young people hanging around, sagging their jeans, and dancing around, and toasting themselves, instead of praying and crying to the God who can change any man's destiny. May God forbid that it's not your child that will refuse to know God. Listen, listen, listen. Our children must love God, and they must love God genuinely. Somebody is indoctrinating a generation to hate God. I want you to beware. There is a secret indoctrination of a generation. Ages 5 to 15 must be preserved. Those of you here that God is calling you into children ministry, receive an anointing for it. It's not all about giving children biscuits and sweets. Let them cram the memory verses. That's how we started. Children now don't know any memory verse again. You ask them, John 3.16, they are twisting their tongues and talking nonsense. Teach them. Don't say it's not useful. Let them know. When we were being raised, they taught godly songs. Now in most schools, children cannot have a clean song that does not have explicit contents. A little child is singing a song that even as an adult, you look at him and say, no, this should not be. There must be restoration of godliness. CEM, may God anoint you more and revive you more. Please. FCS, may God anoint you and revive you more. Individual children ministry groups, may God anoint you and revive you more. Because if you yourself are not revived, what will you teach the children? Bad things. Bad things. That's what our children learn now. Things that are more than their age. And we say it does not matter. It matters. You have children in your house who are too young to watch certain things. Don't let them watch it. Don't let them watch it. There are times you need to regulate. I'm not, I'm not trying to be harsh. But there are times you need to regulate all these 
this a child of seven years watching television from morning till night switching from one music channel to the other hearing things and receiving them in the spirit and authorizing demon spirits to come and destroy them we must preserve godliness say amen, amen. you don't like what i'm saying I don't plan to stop at all we must say it again and again some of you god gave you instructions before you became popular to visit secondary schools and primary schools not with the name of any ministry and bless them but now that you have become apostle joshua selman you have become madam madam whatever businesswoman or whatever you have stopped go back repent and go back we have this mentality that when we are ministering to children it's a sign that we ourselves are children it's the society that makes it so in a bit to show that we are matured we leave the children and say look let's start talking to married men jesus said let the little children come to who come to me he says and do not forbid them for for such is the kingdom of heaven please return back to children ministry in the name of jesus christ when a child looks at you and does like this to you don't smile at the child and rub the head carry the hand and spank it and say no you don't do like this you greet people are we together most of us watch children do all kinds of things a visitor just comes and the child comes and stands in front of him and slaps the visitor and is laughing and you are watching is that good bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but a rod of correction not discussion you don't have to be hostile on children a little spank with two fingers one two and then tell them what they did that was wrong don't just leave them cry this is what you did mommy does not like it daddy does not like it for that reason one two jesus too does not like it In include jesus let them learn and know that it's not just you alone preserve us of the ordinances of the kingdom there's this song that says our generation shall praise your name our generation shall praise your name my generation shall made a vow that for as long as I'm alive my generation must know God it's a covenant I've entered with myself there's no going back there's no discussion there's no hope of going back to go back is to die in life and in death it's a vow and a covenant I've made with myself and everything around my life it is to serve him forever and to introduce him to a generation God is waking us up. Stop playing games. Don't wait until the day you have a cathedral of 5,000 people. You can start now. Some of you, you are the firstborn. You are the only one who knows God in your house. Your, your fourthborn can look at you and say, stupid girl, that's a joke. You need to cast out that demon out of your head and organize a standard Bible study using a koinonia message and tell them, sit down. You are 10 years older than him. He's insulting you that devil out of that head and keep that child disciplined the day I give birth to a child who insults me that that day I'm not going to concentrate on the child the spirit that could enter my roof through that child a child of maybe it's a child of two three years nine ten years no see am i against being am i am i for being harsh no i'm a compassionate person but please brothers marry though about to marry never over pamper children let them know discipline is part of love because most of our children will be born in millionaire families you must discipline them let spoiled children come up and become a nuisance to society 
pray. They say, no, uh, the church is hot. Please, daddy, can you give me the car to the jeep? No, son, you are sitting down here. If me, your father, the owner of the jeep, the jeep is sitting down, you must sit down and pray. Let's go back to our primary schools. I'm serious, I'm rounding up. Let's go back to our secondary schools. Gone are the days when teachers including christian schools i don't know what is christian about the school if they don't pray you have a christian school and you openly said it's a christian school and at the beginning of the class they don't pray what what is what is the christian about it the teacher himself cannot pray you never see a fasting program organized in the school nobody cares while they are praying the teacher who is a young guy somewhere who is not even born again wait and let koinonia start her schools oh yes oh yes let koinonia start her schools and you will see there's nothing like i'm busy who will supervise it it's a mandate don't do that i'm busy man of god and allow the devil kill your ministry sit down open your eyes and see what is happening this teacher's life is questionable He's destroying the life of the student. Call him to the office. Sir, we love you and we don't mean to embarrass you, but we notice that um, it seems you have not been uh, a very good influence over our children. Could there be a problem? Would you need some counsel? Nobody should talk to me. I'm doing all that nonsense. I tell him, as you finish this rubbish, collect your last salary with the cashier, go out of this place and never return. Any good PTA, they should clap for you as the director of that school. And say you are preserving standards. They laughed at Covenant University, laughed at Landmark University, laughed at Mountain Top University. But these universities today are bringing a standard that is almost getting to Cambridge and Harvard because they kept God. Don't throw God and think it will go well with you. We'll continue next week. Six precepts. To keep and preserve God in a territory. Which one have you missed? Would it be prayer, warfare and intercession? Could it be that you neglect the convergence of believers? You come to the house of God today, you come after one month. Or you come to the house of God today, you come when all your arrears are paid. Only to come and testify. Have you positioned yourself to be used by God for an open display of miracles? Almost every family located here has the hand of Satan roaming somewhere. What is it still doing there when you come from that family? Apostle, can you come and visit us? Try first. Try first. Don't get used to all this. I, I, love, I love his testimony. Right? Pastor Lawrence, I love his testimony. It's not all about, oh, apostle prayed for me and I got a miracle. No, I came here. Apostle taught me. I carried that understanding back home. And I said, Daddy, I know that for 35 years, no door has opened in this family. But I came all the way from Zaria with an anointing. I'm using the opportunity of this strike. Can we pray and fast for just two days and let's watch what God does? And in two days, something that did not happen in 30 years happens. You have revealed Christ to that environment. And finally, we must mentor the younger believers. But the younger believers themselves must open up themselves to be mentored. Because there are many proud, proud people. Proud people. You touch somebody, he just falls down. And you get up and this colleague mentality that people carry around colleague mentality some of you, you are in secondary school or maybe you have loved ones in secondary school thank God for what God is doing with them and all of a sudden this pompous arrogant attitude you see everybody and what is there you see vision I see vision you pray for the sick I pray for the sick it's why we never receive we keep making mistakes that are avoidable mistakes now let me tell you mentorship can destroy you if the mentor doesn't know what he's doing because some people actually submitted themselves truly to be mentored 
but they were mentored by people who didn't know what they were doing and they taught them rubbish they taught them pride they taught them a pompous life they taught them a theology of imbalance it matters who you listen to it matters who you open up your spirit to but that spirit must be open brothers and sisters our generation is at stake in the next 10 or 20 years many of the people we look at today will be gone is, is the truth do you believe that many of our fathers they are already wrapping up we insulted them we said ah they came and they taught people cover your head don't cover your head we insulted them they taught people die 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 we insulted them now the button is being passed to us let's hear what our children will say about us we insulted them we refused to see what god was doing through them and as young as we are we kept running our mouth insulting them they preserved the button some of them today look at great men like papa people like billy graham still alive these men serve god to the end let's not insult them and not be able to reach 10 years in consistency that's the song my very powerful song that's the last song we'll sing this night when it's all been said and done there is just one thing that matters did i live my life i can't remember it again. did i live my life for you when it's all been said and done listen all my treasures will be nothing the jeep and the duplex only what I've done for love's reward will stand the test of time. Am I against prosperity? No. But if that's all you can give a generation, if all you can give your child is secular education and a degree, you have failed. Lord, your mercy is so great. That you look beyond our weakness and find precious gold in Mary clay, turning sinners into saints. And I will always sing your praise here on earth and ever after. For you've told me heaven's my true home When it's all been said and done You're my life when life is gone Listen, we're not going to be here forever No matter how you don't want to believe me Nobody There is no man on earth who is 200 years old 200 years ago, none of us on earth today was on earth live your life foolishly we owe our generation and our children a debt I will never except God takes my life but it will not be when I'm alive that I'll see darkness loom over the nations of the earth if it means my life going for it let it go but the ordinances of the kingdom must be preserved in our generation. This is ministry. If you are not ready for this, don't jump around and talk nonsense. A lady sent me a text today, passionately. She may be following, listening. And she said, Apostle, she's from my village. She said, Apostle, come to my village. Why have you not come? I said, don't worry. You think I won't come there? I'm coming. God is counting on you. Listen carefully. I'm rounding up. God is counting on you. I'm not a man of God. It doesn't matter. There are souls. If God planned that in Pastor Alpha's lifetime, you are supposed to save 100 million people. Do you know if you save 20 million people, the world will clap for you. But it's when you get to heaven, 
God will say you left 80 million people to go to hell because you did not manifest if God has anointed you to heal 1 million people and you documented 100,000 testimonies they will register you in the Christian hall of fame but when you get to heaven you hear nonsense our works will be tried by fire let's make business with God this wastage of time let us start with our Jerusalem Zaria let us start with Nigeria you see what is happening in Nigeria you know what most of us are doing what is happening in this nation those who are for A those who are for B but the preservers of the ordinances of God know that there are spirits they can read the writings on the wall that this is not an issue of north, south, east or west this is the devil eyeing a generation that wants to love God and the preservers of the truth say it doesn't matter where I come from Lord it is your kingdom that must be established can we take a few minutes to pray tonight rise up on your feet there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who draws on Jesus, they will be saved. In the next two minutes, hold hands together. And let's pray over Zaria. Lord, we are preservers of the ordinances of God in Zaria. Let's start with our city. Let's start with our location. Great revival. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shakata Bakoto Sote. Lord, we pray the glory of God across Zaria City, across Savo. Across prison, across Shika, in the name of Jesus, your ordinances in this land is preserved. Preserved in our campuses, preserved in every church, preserved in every organization that calls upon the name of the Lord. We decree it and we declare it. Hallelujah. There's an old revival song that was. How many of you know it? I, I pray you know it. The eyes of the Father run to and fro. You know that song? He's searching the earth. He's looking for those who make intercession on behalf of the nation. Those who will rise up and pray Who stand on the gap on behalf of our land Who stand in the gap on behalf of our land Down on our knees We'll take a stand And pray for the sea for our land second part it says the power of darkness release our land will never prevail will never withstand the deep intercession by the people of passion those who will rise up and pray Stand in the gap on behalf of our land. We stand in the gap on behalf of our land. Down on our knees, we take a stand and pray for the seed of our land. We'll pray for the needs of our land. 
controlling powers over Zaria we curse you lift your voice and pray we curse you from region to region Shakatos Kaparia Gadas Kalepai Ebre Ketos Shegeta the powers that keep men poor the powers that stop the gospel from prevailing in this land the powers that stop development the powers that stop advancement the powers that destroy men of God the powers that destroy churches the powers that destroy families we come against you by the blood we come against you by the blood as the church of the Lord Jesus we come against you we come against you controlling powers over territories spirits of violence spirits of wickedness yokes burdens spells enchantments divination manipulations of the heavenly bodies we come against you in the name of Jesus the body of Christ grows Zaria grows whether Christians whether Muslims we advance in this city we are the light of the world in the name of Jesus everyone is blessed in this city without prejudice because of the presence of the church hallelujah I know our time is gone but can we pray for Nigeria we listen as God looks at the map he's looking for incense he has found it in other locations Zaria must represent itself in the realm of the spirit let God not see different localities some villagers and God will see an uneducated woman intercessor and check Zaria and say Zaria where is your incense I like us to pray and say Nigeria is my business Nigeria is God's business peace to the walls peace to the borders Peace in the east, peace in the north, peace everywhere. We fortify the borders of this territory in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare. We manifest our priesthood. We are lampstands. We are lampstands, priests unto God. We raise an incense of intercession over this nation. Nigeria is God's own nation. Nigeria amalgamated by the hand of God himself. We command from border to border the spirits of bloodshed. We curse you. We curse you. We curse you. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, let's pray against the spirit of sentiment. Are we together? Whether Christian, whether Muslim, the truth is that we must live alone. And we must live together. Are we together? Whether, whether Ibo, whether Yoruba, whether South South, whether Northerner, the truth of the matter is that there's nothing we can do about ourselves. We were brought by God. Let's cause the spirit of darkness. People have lost lives. There are 
are spirits that move across places they have destroyed several parts in Africa and they want to come to Nigeria it's listen if you understand this thing it's not about north south east or west it is the devil looking for your destiny and looking for your children I like you to pray and command peace to the walls of this nation every state mention the state by name we command peace peace in Plateau State peace in Kaduna State peace in Lagos peace in Kano peace in Abuja peace in Bauchi peace in Kope peace in Adamawa Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly. Please let me wish you are from the east. Come and stand here. Sam, you are from the north. Stand here. We say you're a person that you may come. Quickly. I want us to do something prophetic here very quickly. Anyone from the south south? I want the six geopolitical zones represented. South South. East. I don't know where. I'm. Okay. You are we are, we are here together. There's there's one more poly, geopolitical zone. Northeast, who is from there? Northeast. One, two, three, four, five. Remain in one area. Where are you from? Northeast, not there's someone. This is south, south, southeast, northeast, north central, southwest. There's remaining one. Please, our time is gone. Northwest. Kaduna, where else again? North Central, you can stand, Pastor Alpha. This is Nigeria. I'd like us to pray and prophesy that as the hands are joined in hands, any spirit trying to destroy us. The evil man will love the Yoruba man. The house man, we love the south south man. We cause the spirit of hatred. We cause the spirit of hatred. We cause the spirit of hatred by this prophetic act. We declare Nigeria arise and shine. Arise and shine. Hallelujah. Listen. God is not just a God of Christians. He's a God of everyone. We are praying for everybody in Zaria around. Let the Muslims prosper. Let Igbo people prosper. Let Yoruba prosper. Don't antagonize anybody. Lift your voice and say, Father, because of our presence, Nigeria must prosper. Lift your voice and pray. Take away any tribal sentiment. All we want is to see Jesus glorified in our nation. Jesus glorified in every home. Jesus glorified in every geopolitical zone. All I want is for To be lifted, all we want, oh my Nigeria, is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to. Jesus, Father, 
we declare that we are not only kings we are priests and part of our priesthood is preserving the ordinances of God a portion to our territories Lord I join my faith together with all the nations following us and all the territories in this nation we declare that God and his purposes will not be lost in any territory in the name of Jesus regardless of the church the ministry and the individuals may the purposes of Christ be preserved Lord we pray for Zaria our Jerusalem we declare that Jesus remains Lord we declare that Christians Muslims are all blessed in this nation we decree and declare that everyone here in Zaria is blessed because of the presence of God's people and father we pray for our beloved nation our heroes gave their blood to see where we are today we command every spirit that wants to plant enmity against one person and another we banish them from this nation in the name of Jesus as your priests we lift up our voice from this side of your kingdom and we declare that as far as this territory is concerned we remain one I decree and declare by this apostolic grace and under this platform the church in Zaria remains one there is no Igbo church there is no Yoruba church there is no Hausa church there is only the church the Ecclesia God's own place in the name of Jesus there will be no hatred and no violence within this border father we commit our people here representing this nation prophetically let there be the spirit of love and unity every plan and purpose that is not of God to cause trouble to kill people to maim people to destroy lives and properties we banish it in the name of Jesus hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things I'm reaping the harvest God promised me take back what the devil stole from me and I rejoice for I shall recover it all. Yes, I rejoice today. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray. Everyone. Those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. time up satan over the lives and the destinies of people we announce an expiry date for you which is right now tonight is good friday over our lives jesus said it is finished we believe it jesus said it is finished Oh, hallelujah, he's reading. I'm excited, I'm excited. Someone is walking free tonight. I tell you, a door is open tonight. Pray. Pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house.
Come on, help me. You don't know this song? There's a great anointing working. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit have your way. Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Pro Satali Pariata. De Kaya. Kabam Prastaya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I'd like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together. In the Hebrew, we call this Tehila. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Shake up, 
Oh, come on. No devil stands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands inside and outside. Now, according to the unction, and he gave us power, I speak to you inside, outside, territorial spirits. I confront you at the count of three. You will go. You will go. I see a mighty deliverance in this row. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside the Puerto Rico day no demon stands every affliction go Outside, 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 the power of God is falling. They took the barricade, they get the crash, the caparia. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the crowd. Out of her, out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you, come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 go out of her right now, out of her, out of her, come out, come out of her, come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her, come out of her now. Thou foul devil, I see a snake out of her. Come out, fire upon you, fire upon you, fire upon you, fire upon you. Come out of her. Come out, 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 Come out! 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 Come out!
open up. Therefore, every power I speak by an apostolic unction, every demonic force, you are going to shout Jesus once and the power of God will move across. My God, let your fire move. Are you ready? Those outside. One, two, three. Come out. 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 Come out, come out, get your tota. Come out, come out, come out. Come out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. 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 Bring Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at it. Hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water. The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now. 
and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liva, liva, liva. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies I said come and meet me here don't stay there it's time for the lady to go someone has someone has a problem one ear you feel like there's water you practically cannot hear very well with it who is that person who is that person? One ear, you feel like there's water or something. Please, who is that inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly. You, which of them? It will be open right now. Put your hands there. As I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. Go! Go! Come out! Come out of her! Come out of her right now. You are a deaf and dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus, let her go. Go! Go! I set you free. Check it. Check it. Someone check her. What do you feel? No, no, really. I'm free. Look at. My water there again. Look at. Instant miracle. Come. What happened, Mama? What? Look at me. What used to happen before? I'm not. Uh, before, I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes 
I'll be hearing something uh, Waka inside, but now not. Look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes? This is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies. Madam, you are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears? She had mums. So it affected she had her. what? Mums on her left ear. Mums. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your reign is gone. In the name of Jesus, someone test them. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. You will be free right now. I bring you healing and perfection in the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in a bit. And heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them, both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Thou foul devil. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Please, can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain here. Come. Hold on, hold on. I'll pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You would not sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Go, go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. 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 Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen to you? You used to feel pains. Yes, when, I came in, I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that? The enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? 
care what happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. A foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happens? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? How sharp pain always. Sharp pain. Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go. You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now. Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? Your two brothers, uh, they, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is... Brother, you are not very fine, no, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people in mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? But the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? 
Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus. And set this lady free. You're free. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What's wrong with you? I get angry. Anytime you get angry. You know what's wrong with you? But you want God to help you, right? See, this lady is so desirous of help. Because I see the spirit of anger. You can carry bottle and kill somebody with it. Is that true? You want to be set free from it? Look at my eyes. I've seen you now in the spirit. Come out! Out of her! Come out of her right now. Foul spirit of wickedness. In the name of Jesus. This is a very nice girl. Look. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. Kaparata <laughs> kaparata balatapai. Repete keposh. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way. And build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you're free. Leave her. You're free. She's free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart problem. for a long time out of her right now in Jesus name you must go out come out your 
exodus out of her life with a loud shout i instruct you to leave now at the count of three one two three Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. altar call before i finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what i'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go i see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I did myself. You started by yourself? Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Lay your hands.
dizer. Sarkin Salama 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 You'll be a mighty woman of God. Mighty woman of God. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh, yeah. Zerkin Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of non effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama. Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> Three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye-bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. Is bringing everything when she lies on her back is going quietly i don't understand some of these things we're still learning so you lie and go there's an angel standing close to her that's why i told you people don't bother now we're going to minister we'll have to hurry up if you brought somebody who is sick Please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. 
All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead, touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord. Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer requests quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleeping. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, Please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Kaparata, kaparede, go. Shatabalia. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Pepsi Cosa. Fire. 
fire upon you right now. Quietly, go. Lepticals, are you come? Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. Makaprata karia. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please, quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh.
surprised to go back home and see the doors that will be opening unto you. Believe me, I will lie to you. Sister, hold on, you're looking at you with pink at the back of that girl with pink. Run and come. Run as if you want your deliverance. Come. Your salvation has come. It's your time to smile. Run and come. I say run. Look at what she's doing. No, you are not done. No, he will still pray for you. Come, my dear. Look at you. Look at me. See, for the Lord says, I should tell you not only doors of marriages, but doors of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. This lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you into this. Where's the lady I asked her to come? Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write those on Facebook and all our members, please, if we cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed. Okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no okay. You are suffering from this a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding, and this is yeah, please. We are very serious. Because God will set you free. That's why we're a family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference. It's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her bag for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. expose you foul spirit of darkness now but wetting stops forever it's a spirit she has a dream this is i'm seeing the dream that this lady has now she has a dream they are pouring water and she's standing there later the water becomes a bathroom and she wakes up and sees you will look and think she's an irresponsible lady some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place you like talking about people See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right when you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. 
It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha. Come out of her. Now I've seen you. Come out of her. Foul spirit. Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now. See. Out of her. What is this that you are putting in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a band. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You're a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You're a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Krento Satilaka Repata Rita Rabata Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. With both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. good usher so you be free come out of her out of her in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands hold my hands look at your own hands shaking what is this watch from today just look at it this is demonic this is nonsense huh and I am come that ye may have life I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said, it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy please hang on because I'm going to prophesy 
this is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sas, please can we come? All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. the Lord, but you will not oppress her. Come out. This, this is what has been responded. Come out. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. You must go. Oh yes, you must. Go, go. I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata, rabete keterete, rabaka barata pa, babriata. I told you, Satan likes bodies. The ungo it takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go, go in the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils, and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One, two, three. Go. In Jesus' name. Go. Go. In Jesus' name. With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hmm? Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right we have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. 
I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. I expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it with all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts, anointings, graces, Help me instrumentalist. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass. Everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. 
is coming. Listen. Just leave them. Just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just leave them. Listen. The fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thou power of the Holy Ghost, Move, 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 fire, fire, let it come like rain. Repete, tete, repete, repos, opa, recoto, repe, recariata, ma brapa, tata, rata, recos. Take it, take it, visions, take it, take it, prophetic experiences, take it. Outside, take it, take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you. In a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord. In the name of Jesus. Favor anointing. Fall. 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 Let it hit you, let it hit you, like tornado, where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata, teke ke te ke te lebo. I want to prophesy breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Higher. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Parata Bosa, Rakata Deka, Parata Paria. Lift your hand. I like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The breakthrough anointing. I command those. Be open. Doors. Be open. Miracle jobs. Marriages. Barren women receive. Barren women receive. All kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances. 
within the next 30 days. Many of you don't know what the anointing of the Spirit. I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman. Don't be foolish. Within the next 30 days, Lord, confirm your word. If you have sent me, let the fire come. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I pick you from where you are financially. I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Thank you. For you and for your loved ones who need jobs, I call April a month where you will experience turn around. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. I prophesy that anointing all round. For your academics receive grace. For your academics receive grace. Grace to be the best. Grace to excel. You are not dull. I call you brilliant. I call you blessed. I call you blessed. I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence, distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please. This is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it. For yourself, some of you, for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. 
This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seat. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. We don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. <laughs> For yourself and family. Hold, just hold it, just hold it. Just keep it hold. Keep it hold. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that cause. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go! 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 I break the curse. Go! 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 Lift it up. Go! Go! I break the curse. Go! It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Pareta ka kaparoto pretelika. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted, please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy, the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity, I release it upon your life right now. I release it upon your life right now. Creativity beyond your imagination. Visions of ideas. Destiny help us. For your family members. Those who need jobs, take jobs. Those who need business ideas, receive it. Those whose business are dying, I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why hold on part of the reasons why people don't wait except they have something serious do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities they keep making them uncomfortable and they leave because of certain blessings listen not every man of God is out to destroy you 
God sends people to lift you. I promise you, you will never be the same. Hallelujah. Now, it's not just enough to be prayed for, to be healed, to be released. You must grow in the word. I can't tell you this enough. There are many of you who only come for miracle services because you, want, you won't grow that way. You must be taught the word. Subject yourself to the teaching of the word. The Bible says, I commend you to the word of his grace, which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance. He said, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, Wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises, that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. There's no shortcut to greatness. There's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God. Everyone, please stand up. Right now, I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling. All those people that I told them it's time to get born again. Now it's your time to run out and come out here. Everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ, or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand. Please, you are not coming to me. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, Jesus loves you. Now is the time of salvation. We do not condemn you. Leave your seat and come. If you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing, no problem, just come. Outside, there are a number of you outside. God is calling you. Leave your friend. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is the biggest miracle. Come. God bless you. Bless you, sister. Bless you, my brother. Don't stop. God bless you. You need Jesus. He's the fountain of life. He's the one we represent here. He's the one we exalt. There is only one name. Not any man of God. Not Bishop Stan. Not Pastor Jakes. Not Joshua Selman. Jesus and him alone. I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. look at me all of you who have come here god bless you thank you so much for coming i want you to know that you will never be the same in jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me lord jesus it's not a poem say lord jesus i love you i believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm born again. The life of God is in me. And Satan will go. Go! Was he praying? And what, what was I saying? And Satan will live my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's making Jesus Lord of her life. You're a foul spirit. Out. Out. You're a wicked spirit. Go. This is, this is authentic born again. Authentic one that comes with a dramatic change. Many of you got born again. You were laughing from the beginning to the end. You don't even know what happened to you. This is what they call old time religion born again. The one that will leave a mark in your life, you won't forget. Unfortunately, those who talk about old time don't go far enough. They mean religious born again. Acts of the apostles. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. From today, I am yours. In the name of Jesus, I'm a child of God. I break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much.
This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jax is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're worshipping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confident sister, come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we're not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus, thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.